Now, I'm sure many of you have heard that in recent years some parts of Scotland have become quite overrun by tourists so it is no wonder that people are starting to discover other parts of Scotland and the hidden gems that can be found there and one of those places is the town of Fraserburgh and I've been very fortunate to be invited this weekend by the group Discover Fraserburgh and Visit Scotland to come and spend 48 hours in and around the town and show you all exactly what this area has to offer. look at this view here. This is Cullican Bay and there is actually several really interesting and enjoyable coastal walks around the Fraserburgh area and Cullican Bay is just around the corner from the very famous village of Pennon which I'll be going to next and it's such a peaceful and beautiful place to spend a few hours. I'm off to explore the caves which you can get into during low tide and hopefully show you a little bit more of this area. Just look at this, like, how insane is this cave system? What a great place to explore. minute drive from Fraserburgh we have the really famous village of Pennon where the film Local Hero was filmed and it is well worth stopping by and enjoying. What a beautiful village with a beautiful view and it's very good for landscape photography too. Welcome to St Combs Beach, just about a 10-15 minute drive down the road from Fraserburgh. I've got this beach completely to myself right now and it's absolutely stunning. The tide is halfway out, got this lovely sand going on here, beautifully clean and it's just such a lovely way, such a lovely way to, way to build up an appetite for a head to the captain's table in Fraserburgh for a nice seafood meal. over there called St Combs. Well, if you've got the time to kill, you can actually walk from St Combs all the way to Rattery Head Lighthouse and back along the beach and it is a great walk, a great way to spend your morning, afternoon or evening and a great way to see this coastline and you can't see this right now but there's actually about 20 seals out in the sea just now. What an amazing sight, there's so much wildlife along here, so much to discover and a great place to do some coastal walking. Right now I've actually got this whole beach to myself. How amazing is that? Now if wildlife is your thing, the Fraserburgh area is a great place to come as it is home to two RSPB reserves, both of which are very unique in nature. And it is also home to many, many seals and you can even see the occasional pod of dolphins too. I'm off to the first RSPB reserve now and I'll talk to you more about it when I get there. Welcome to Troop Head, the only mainland gannet colony in the whole of Scotland and it's right here 
a very short drive from Fraserburgh. And this is by far one of my favourite places to come, especially in the summer months when these cliffs are full of gannets. But even when they're not here, the views of the sea and the cliffs and the coastline, it's just incredible. Having the only mainland gannet colony in Scotland in the Fraserburgh area wasn't good enough. It's also home to the largest dune loch in the whole of Great Britain, known as the Loch of Strathberg. And I've come here really early on day two of my trip to come and do a little bit of bird watching and show you this beautiful, beautiful wetland nature reserve. <laughs> Hides aren't your thing, just a short 10 minute drive round from the RSPB car park you come to this lovely lay-by which coincidentally is also on the road to the stunning Rattray Head that I'm about to go to. But when you go to this lay-by you can sit, park your car up and just overlook a different viewpoint in the loch. This is a stunning place to watch the sunset in the summer and in the autumn months you may be lucky enough to catch a glimpse of a starling murmuration or the geese and hooper swans coming in to roost. I just love it down here, it is so peaceful and you can really really immerse yourself in nature. There's something truly special about old historical monuments and buildings and one that always stands out around here is this Dukit here just outside of Rosehearty. And there's so many more beautiful monuments and historical places around here too, all waiting to be discovered. Sligo Castle, another historical place well worth visiting. It's pretty much a ruin now, but there is a few little hidden gems, such as a few interesting coat of arms, shields, and a really nice few spots to come and explore. It's also very quiet here. I've got it all to myself. well worth visiting if you're into history is Deer Abbey in Mintlaw. Beautiful ruined abbey that's well worth exploring with some lovely yew trees in the garden and some nice old masonry work to, to explore and to, to enjoy too. miles down the road from Fraserburgh we come to the town of Mintlaw which is home to quite a lot of nice country walks and places to explore and discover and the first off of my places here to visit and explore is Adden Country Park. <laughs>
course, in between all of your exploring and adventuring, you're going to need places to go to refuel and rehydrate and there is an endless amount of beautiful cafes and restaurants in the Fraser region to enjoy. see that there is plenty to see and do here in Fraserburgh so next time you are considering a little trip away why not consider coming to Fraserburgh for 48 hours to enjoy this stunning part of Scotland. I can guarantee you will not be disappointed and I've had a fantastic weekend so I just want to say a huge thank you once again to Discover Fraserburgh for inviting me along. This is such a beautiful area and my goodness it's got so much to offer.